Hey there everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I am back with the next video in my June Bible review series. This is the ESV Study Bible from Hosanna Revival. Okay guys, so, so far we have reviewed the ESV Study Bible, we have reviewed the ESV Journaling Study Bible, and this is the ESV Study Bible by Hosanna Revival. I think what you're going to see on the inside is fairly similar to some of the things that we've already looked at before, um, so this one may be a little shorter, but I do want to give... Um, time and attention to all the things that Hosanna Revival has done with this and have done such a great job with. Hosanna Revival is known for putting out beautiful Bibles and this one definitely qualifies. So this is a cloth overboard cover. Um, I don't remember which theme this is like they're all known as themes so you can find this exact one but I will link it in the description below so you can find this Bible if you want. But this is a cloth over board. I think it might be the Mallory Hollow theme now that I think about it, but I'm not 100% sure. It says the Holy Bible in this really pretty script. It's kind of like embossed into the Bible. Like I can feel the ridges where that's kind of like down in there. So it's like this peachy color with these orangey, corally, reddish color florals with the greens and the white. It's just really pretty. On the side you have the holy bible it has crossway down here because they're the publisher and then you have psalm 145 8 also embossed on the back in white the lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and then you have hosanna revivals little logo down here at the bottom so that is the outside i love this bible it is so pretty um, one difference straight off the bat from this one than the other ones we have reviewed is the size. This one I do believe is a large print. So it's a little bigger, a little thicker. And the other ESV study Bible we looked at in the brown leather was a personal size. This one's not a personal size. So it's a little bit bigger than that one. Let me just get it, show it to you for size reference. So here we have the other ESV study Bible that I've already done a review of in the personal size, and as you can tell, like there's a pretty decent size difference going on here between these two. They're both pretty thick, but this one where it is a personal size, it's much smaller, and this one is a good bit larger. This one is also not a large print, and like I said, I'm pretty sure this one is. So that's the outside. On the inside, you have these really, really pretty orange paper in sheets. It matches the outside really, really nice. I like that a lot. And then you have just some white cardstock pages in here. So you get through to the presentation page. You have the ESV study Bible presented to by on, on like a glossy, thicker paper. Marriages, birth and adoption, and deaths. Just your typical presentation information. And then you have ESV Study Bible. So like I said, I think the contents are going to be fairly similar to the other one. Um, especially since like this ESV Study Bible, like that's, that's their logo. This is the same interior with a Hosanna Revival cover on it. So for your contents page, if I can get to the contents page, it looks the same pretty much with your introductory things, your um, theology and all of your Old Testament introductions, your books of the Bible, between the Testaments, the New Testament um, introductions, and then the actual New Testament. And then your articles and resources in the back, uh, index of your illustrations, abbreviations, and then your introduction to the Bible. You can already tell that this one does have a larger and a little bit of a bolder print than the other one did, even though it's the same <clears throat> material and interior and resources in here, it is already a little bit of a larger and bolder print. So you have your contributors to the study notes, preface to the ESV, overview of the Bible, a survey and the history of salvation, a lot of this stuff was also in the ESV study Bible or the ESV journaling study Bible that I also have done a review of at this point. But like I said, some of it was not in there and some of it was more condensed, I believe, to make it fit in a journaling Bible format. So then you have the Old Testament and your theology of 
the Old Testament page, um, timeline and charts, the date of the Exodus, introduction to the Pentateuch, introduction to Genesis. So this is where it gets into what you have for every book of the Bible. And I think in the other videos I've shown you um, Isaiah, Genesis, and we'll pick a different book this time just for the fun of it. Let's see. Let's go with Esther. So here's what each book of the Bible, the beginning, like introduction to each book is going to look like. This one does lay nice and flat for the cloth overboard situation. So like every other one, you do have your author and title, the date of when they think it was written, um, theme, purpose, occasion, and background for every book. And then these pages won't turn. Um, and then you have a map of the Persian Empire at the time of Esther. And this is just kind of a continuation of this last section, which was the purpose, occasion, and background. Key themes to look for um, and relevance for Christians today. I feel like that's super helpful because, especially in the Old Testament, because people think the Old Testament is not relevant to us because Jesus has now come and made all of this irrelevant. That's not true. If Jesus had made all of it irrelevant, the Old Testaments would not still be in our Bible. And it still is. So it does have relevance today. And I think that section is really helpful. Um, and then you have history of salvation summary, literary features, and an outline of Exod or an outline of Esther before you get started into the actual text. So again, like with the other one, you do have your cross references here on the side as well as your study notes down here at the bottom. And one thing I like about these study notes um, is that the notes may not be quite as bold and they are in a smaller font than up here, but they have bolded which verse corresponds with each note. So it makes it super easy for you to find. If you're looking for a note on chapter one, verse 10, it's really easy to find. It's right here because that is nice and bolded for you. Um, this is a single column addition. The journaling study Bible is a double column. This one is single. So it just goes straight across the page like this instead of being double like this. And then you have your ESV footnotes right here above where your study notes start. So then that's just kind of what it looks like on a typical page in here where you have your single column scripture, your cross references up here in the margins, and then down here in the bottom, your study notes. Um, and then for the poetic books, as you can see, Job is a little bit of a different format here. It goes from here into this. That's because this would be a song or a psalm. This is Job's lament, so it would probably be more like a song format. So it's written in a poetic format versus just a straight across like a book. So I do appreciate that they include that. Not all Bible translations do, but I think that that's really helpful to distinguish um, between those different literary uses of it so you understand that this is a song or a poem so not everything in it may be exact literal words or we understand more Job's feeling as he laments different things like that I think it's just helpful to have it in that format so then we get all the way through the Old Testament and here's the New Testament you get your background to the New Testament section all about the time between the Testaments um, kind of what's going on after the end of the Old Testament and New Testament, a chart of Jewish and Roman rulers, um, intertestamental events timeline, a chart of the Herodian dynasty, which is helpful because multiple Herods are mentioned throughout the New Testament. And you got to know which one you're talking about because they're not all the same. Um, the Roman Empire and the Greco-Roman world at the time of the New Testament. So this is kind of what is what the world looks like, what power looks like, what is happening in the world surrounding the biblical events as they are happening, which is really helpful for understanding. The Roman Empire, Jewish groups at the time of the New Testament, and then you get the actual New Testament. Once you get into the New Testament, you move out of the intertestamental time between the testaments information into the introductory information for the new testament so this is theology of the new testament new testament timeline date and crucifixion of jesus reading the gospels and acts 
and I feel like I skipped something. Reading the Gospels and Acts. No, this is still reading the Gospels and Acts, just more. Okay. And then you come in straight into your introduction of Matthew. This is the same as it was back in Esther. So you have this whole section that is about the author and title. So this will give you background about who Matthew was um, and like different biblical descriptives of who he was, why he's writing a gospel, whether it's a firsthand account or not, which Matthew was a firsthand account. He was a disciple of Jesus. Um, so it just kind of gives you a background of that. The date presumed that this was written theme, purpose, occasion, and background, timeline, which I really like this timeline because it kind of shows you a little more like drawn. I, I like this format. I like charts. So history of salvation summary, literary features, key themes, outline, map of the setting of Matthew. So this is like what the world would have looked like. Um, in all the places that this is helpful to know because all the places that like Jesus and his disciples traveled, what the world looked like, where Jesus was from, how far um, Nazareth was from Bethlehem, how far Bethlehem was from Jerusalem, all of those key places you can find on this map for the book of Matthew. Continuation of the outline and then your scripture. Again, same single column format, double column for your study notes. Different maps and charts in here that'll, that are helpful for different information you find throughout the Bible. So this is Jesus's birth and the flight to Egypt. Cross references on the side. And then I do not believe this one is a red letter edition either. No, this is not a red letter Bible. Again, just black letters. Here we are. Sermon on the Mount's my go-to to figure out if it's a red letter or not because Jesus talks for like three straight chapters and it's easy to, easy, easy to find. So you continue on throughout Matthew and all the Gospels. Oh, we've hit a ribbon. I'm trying not to pull the ribbons out of these Bibles because they're for the graduates and I want them to still look nice and presentable. But it does have this nice like orangey tan kind of color. And then back here, there is like this teal ribbon marker. And those will look really nice when they get pulled out. But again, not my Bible. So I'm not going to pull the ribbon markers out. All right, so then we get all the way through the New Testament. Let's see if I can find the end of Revelation here. All right, here's Revelation 22, articles and resources. So this whole last chunk is just extra articles and resources for you. I flipped through most of these in the other ESV study Bible review, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same. I'll flip through them quickly, but not quite as in-depth as I did in the last one. So this is God's plan of salvation. Um, biblical doctrines, there's a lot of biblical doctrines, biblical ethics, uh, see, try not to skip too much, but try not to flip every page, um, a section on interpreting the Bible, section on reading the Bible, section on the canon of scripture, um, the reliability of the Bible manuscripts, um, archaeology and the Bible, the original languages of the Bible, how the New Testament quotes and interprets the Old Testament, so New Testament and Old Testament harmony kind of, um, the Bible in Christianity, the Bible in world religions, the Bible and religious cults, History of Salvation in the Old Testament. I think that this section is really cool because you can see the grand narrative throughout scripture through this. See, the whole point was salvation, which I think is really cool. Um, charts and diagrams, and then your, um, what's this thing called? I know what it's called, but I can't. The concordance, there it is, that's the right word. My brain was not functioning for that word your concordance that you get all the way through here where if you want to know what the bible has to say about oppression you can find oppression in your concordance and here are scripture references that talk about oppression so that helps you narrow down um, searches a little bit 
You have a daily Bible reading plan in the back of this one. I don't think any of the other ones had a daily Bible reading plan. I could be wrong, but I don't think that they did. So you have a daily Bible reading plan that is dated for you. Weights and measurements. <clears throat> and then you have your maps that are on the good shiny cardstock. Pretty sure it's the same maps as the other ones. There are 15 maps. And you have your in sheet and the back. So this is the ESV study Bible in large, I think it's large print by Hosanna Revival. And I also believe this is the Mallory Hollow theme. I will find the link for this from Hosanna Revival and put it down in the description below. If you're interested in this Bible, let me down down in the comments what you thought about this Bible. Um, so far I've done three of these videos, so maybe rank them for me in order which one's your favorite. The ESV study Bible in the personal, size the ESV study Bible by Hosanna Revival or the ESV journaling study Bible. So let me know which one of the ones I've done so far are your favorite down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.